Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my must-have products from Colourpop Cosmetics. Black Friday is right around the corner so I thought I would share my absolute favourites from the brand as you guys know. I'm your Colourpop girl. I absolutely adore Colourpop and I have been reviewing them constantly for the past four years now. So I really know the brand. I have a lot of favourites from them that are part of my daily routine that I absolutely love and adore. And I did film a video like this last year. And if you watched that video or if you have been around on my channel for a while, some of these products are not going to come to a surprise. They are going to be a lot of repeats, but that just goes to show how much I love these products and I've been using them for years now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Alright, so as I'm currently filming, I don't know what Colourpop is exactly doing for their Black Friday. Like, I don't know the percentage, but Colourpop as a brand itself is already quite affordable. So if you can get a further discount, that's great. Um, I also do have an affiliate code with Colourpop that I don't think will work if there's already another sale going on at the same time, if that makes sense. I think you can only apply it to full price items, but I'll leave my code down below anyway it is just my name Judy at checkout if you would like to use that just want to throw that out there but to get started to start off the list I think I have to talk about the eyeshadow palettes because I think that's what Colourpop I wouldn't say is most well known for but they do have a lot of it and I do have a lot of palettes to recommend for you guys today I know it's a lot and I'm not saying you need to grab all of these I'm just gonna give you a lot of options because Colourpop has a lot of options and these are my favorite palettes. So starting off, I currently have this palette on my eyes. This is the Blush Crush palette and I'm gonna talk very briefly through everything because I have a lot to get through. I just wanna let you know why I like it and then move on because I have dedicated reviews to everything. When I say I have reviewed Colourpop for four years, I have reviewed Colourpop for four years because I have videos on literally everything you're about to see. I'm gonna leave it all down below. Hopefully my description will allow me to fit it all. But Blush Crush is a really beautiful pinky mauve dream. It has a good balance of mattes and metallics. I love the looks that I can get out of this. It is just absolutely romantic. It is Blush Crush, the perfect name for this. Absolutely love it. So if you love pinky tones or mauve tones, I think you would really enjoy this palette as well. I also love Nude Mood, which actually came out with Blush Crush. So maybe you'll be able to get this as like a bundle. Um, but Nude Mood is a beautiful everyday warm tone dream. Again, really great with the matte to shimmer ratio. You Get transition medium deeps and that goes for the mattes and shimmers as well i think you can't go wrong with a palette like this and for a beginner if you are just wanting an everyday palette i think nude mood would be very very ideal because the way they selected the shades in here is perfect. I also have That's Taupe. That's Taupe is a beautiful cool tone dream. Although I personally don't love cool tones as much, I've been dabbling into cool tones a little bit more. I wouldn't say it's my preference, but there are times where I want more of a smoky, cooler tone look, and I will always go for That's Taupe. It is such a good cool tone palette, and if you're like me and you don't like cool tones too much, but you want to like just try it out, I would recommend That's Taupe from all of Colourpop's palette. They have some other cool tone palettes as well but I would say that's type is a really good size um, it has the right amount of mattes again you get the transitions you get the medium you get the dark even with the mattes you get a good range as well they all have a different undertone perfection as well and then another perfection palette we have <laughs> making moss I would say if you're gonna compare it to blush crush perhaps you don't need it both because I think you can get something quite similar um, blush crush will just have a little bit more pinkiness to it whereas making moss leans towards that neutral side and it has more like a purple underbase so depending on what you like you've got some options there but again you get a good range of transitions you get the medium tones the dark tones and you get three beautiful metallic in here. And the next palette we have is a little ray of sunshine. This is actually an all matte palette. If you love matte shadows like I do, I think you'd really enjoy this if you love a warm tones. It has literally the perfect amount of warm tones in here. You get a good range from yellows to neutrals. It is just a really great palette. I love and adore Little Ray of Sunshine. If you want to play with a bit of greens but in a subtle way like olives, I would recommend the Child Palette which is a collab and it's still available and I did double check all the items I'm mentioning today is still on the Colourpop website. Whether some of them are in stock or not, 
I'm not too sure, but they are all still available. So I'm just mentioning products that are currently still on the ColourPop website because they like to discontinue things very secretly without us knowing. Maybe they do announce it and I just don't see it, but yeah, everything is on their site. This is a really beautiful olive palette, but you have these neutral browns in here that you can make it very wearable. And I absolutely love this palette whenever I want to play with some greens on my eyes. It's super, super flattering. And for brown eyes, although I'm always like wearing contacts, I'm wearing green contacts right now. I feel like green eyeshadow looks really good against brown eyes. It has a very like earthy tone to it that I just love and this palette will serve you all of those olive green dreams so I would highly recommend this one but next up I promise you guys we're almost halfway through the nine pants I'm so sorry um but the next one is coast to coral I adore this palette as well I think it's a very approachable way to apply corals on your eyes because corals can be quite bright but because it's sort of like peachy and warm it's still quite wearable and the shades in here are just are just pure perfection if you love warm tones you will love this palette it is one of my favorite palettes I absolutely love Coastal Coral. It's a palette I would highly, highly recommend. And the next couple of palettes are more colorful palettes, but these are the ones that I really have been enjoying. So the first one, if you're looking for some blues, I would recommend High Tide. Previously, I would probably recommend a Blue Moon, but this one is a newer one that came out this year. I just really like the tones in here a little bit better than Blue Moon. I would say Blue Moon is more of like a true blue, but this one is more of like teal and blue. You know what I mean? But I find this very flattering. I really like the looks that you can get out of this. The metallics are stunning. And just when I look at this palette, it just gives me a lot of mermaid vibes. I love, love this palette. Moving into Just My Luck, a classic. I think I probably recommended this last year as well. I probably recommended this since the day it came out. I think it was maybe 2019. It is just a good old green palette. So if we're speaking with green palettes, I'll hold up. The Child. The Child is definitely more muted and more olive, but if you want more impact and color, then Just My Luck is a really great one. You get a good variation of greens as well. Like you get a forest green, you get the sartreuse green, you get some olive greens in here as well, like a musky green. Great green palette. Honestly, all of ColourPop's nine pan monochromatics are so good, and it is seriously my favorite pan size. You guys know how I feel about being monochromatic, so obviously I gravitate towards these, and I think nine colors is a really good size. Like nine and 12, perfect size for me. I'm not someone that likes mega palettes so much. So. But the next palette is Cloud Spun. If you want some really true, vibrant pinks, I would recommend Cloud Spun. In the past, I probably would have recommended Ooh La La. Still love the palette, but I I think for me, Cloud Spun is just a really great, fun, bubblegum pink palette. And this one does have a press glitter, so if you're not into that, just be aware there's only one press glitter inside. But overall, a really great pink palette can create so many beautiful pink looks. If you want something purple, I would recommend It's My Pleasure. You will have so much dimension in here, like the amount of different finishes and undertones it's so different and with a lot of these monochromatic palettes sometimes no matter what technique you do the look might look the same because it is a monochromatic palette it's bound to look somewhat similar but i find with it's my pleasure because the undertones of the purples are so different i think every look will look quite different obviously it's still going to be in the purple family but the undertone and everything is so different and I absolutely love It's My Pleasure. I've loved it for a very long time. Another palette I absolutely love as well is Main Squeeze. Out of all the colorful palettes, I would say Main Squeeze is my favorite because it's the red monochromatic palette and I feel like ColourPop they kind of stray away from reds a lot and I have heard from like youtubers who have made like cosmetics or have collab they always say red is really hard to make especially in eyeshadow so maybe that's why I think for that maybe I appreciate main squeeze a little bit more if you're gonna play with color I think red and pinks are probably the most approachable colors to go for because it's like warm tone and I feel like it's just I guess a little bit more wearable it's not so like bam in your face, I don't know. But I love Main Squeeze. It is such a beautiful palette and the choice of colors in here is just so good as well. So 
main squares is like my, my favorite colorful monochromatic palette. And the last nine pen palette, I've been like talking for like 10 minutes about these nine pens and we're not even getting sudden to anything else. I'm so sorry. But the nine pens are really good, okay? Meant to be. Meant to be is my last one. It's my last pick. If you want some minty, minty shadows, I think this one's a really good one too. I just love the looks that I created from this. And if we're talking about pastels, I really love mint. I love minty shadows. And I think they have a really good range in here. Um, and I really, really enjoy Mint to be as well. And then moving into some other palettes, I have some other pan sizes here. So I'll talk about this mini one. This one is Cream Soda. It's in a quad, which is $9. And I love this one because of these two shades here. These two shades on the bottom, these two mattes. Whenever I'm wearing more of like a natural makeup look, um, and I just sort of want a little wash of color all over my eyes, I find mixing these two shadows together is the perfect one wash of color. It doesn't blend into my skin tone, but it's not too like dark where it's so obvious. Like I can literally just dab, 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 wash it all over and I'm good to go. Obviously the shimmers are really nice as well, but I just don't use these as much as I use the mattes. Like I'm going to hit pan on these mattes very, very soon. So one of my favorites personally. And then I have some 12 pans. Honestly, for a long time, I thought I had more favorites from the 12 pans, but I was going through my collection and I was like, you know what, these are probably the only ones I can recommend right now. There have been some that have been discontinued that were my favorites, but the discontinued, you guys can't buy it, so there's no point of me mentioning them. So the first one I want to talk about is Sweet Talk. Sweet Talk is very similar to Costa Coral, where it's very corally, it's peachy, so um, you have the two options there. If you don't like pressed glitters, I would recommend Costa Coral, because this one has um, true glitters, but this one you can create I guess more looks with this one that will look a little bit different because Coastal Coral is a full-on coral palette whereas this one has corals but it also has pops of orange and neutral so you can do something a little bit more with that. Such a classic for me, I love this one. I also really love Lush Live and this one did come out this year but if you're looking for something that has a mixture of colors like if you don't want to buy so many like nine pan palettes, they do have a mega palette called Fade Into Hue which has a lot of color but personally not my favorite. This one has greens, it has blues, it has oranges, it has a bit of everything for a very tropical vibe and the colors are very vibrant and I just really really love this palette. Look at this packaging as well, it's, it's, it's just stunning. I love this. And then also another recent palette, this one is called Plush Like Me. When you look at this palette I feel like maybe you might not I mm, think it's for you or it doesn't it looks a little bit boring but the look that you get out of this I don't know there's something about it is very sultry it's very muted but it's impactful and the shade range in here is really nice as well like you get the transitions the medium the deeps like it goes very very dark but you can go also go quite light as well so I feel like it's a lot you can do with this as for packaging is a little bit different they kind of like upsize some of their palettes so compared to the original 12 pans it is just like a little bit bigger which I personally don't like and also the pans in this one is a bit bigger and it also does have a mirror as well. And then the last palette I want to recommend maybe my absolute favorite I have been talking about this palette for three to four years now. It has been in my yearly favorites since 2018, 19, 20. It's gonna be in 2021 as well even though I didn't really use it that much this year but still. I absolutely love it. I can't recommend it enough. It is the It's a Princess Thing palette. And I know you guys love it too, because you guys tell me in the comments that you love this palette as well. But the mattes in here, like this, pretty much this entire front row, the mattes are perfection. I love Grumpy. I love Triton. I love Abu. I love Beast. These are absolutely beautiful shadows. You get a wide range of different metallics to use with these beautiful mattes as well. Like, it's such an underrated palette. Like, it's so, so good, and this is a collab palette, but it's still on the ColourPop website. So if that doesn't tell you how good it is, I don't know what will. If me not talking about this palette for four years in a row, still appearing in my yearly favorites, if it doesn't tell you it's a good palette, I mean, I don't think anyone else can convince you otherwise that this is a good palette because I really have been talking about this palette for so long. So those were all the palettes. Hopefully I was able to get through everything fairly quickly. If you want to know a little bit more about any of these palettes, 
every single palette I have done a review on besides cloud spun but next up I want to talk about the creme gel liners this one specifically is called honey dude it is such a perfect nudie eyeliner I have it in my waterline today it's one of my favorites it's my like I think maybe my second eyeliner or my third one of honey dude this shade specifically I also want to mention this one hang on it's a little it's a little dirty here um, so this one, I think it came in their So Very Lovely collection, um, but this one is called Lattice or Lattice. I forgot how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. But this one specifically comes in a different like type of packaging. It's similar to their lippy pencils, but this one is like a very pretty nudie reflective eyeliner it is one that i would like to recommend as well i've been really enjoying that and colourpop has a really wide range of eyeliners most of them for the most part do work there is a bit of inconsistency but i would say for the most part most of them are quite good and i would recommend them they just snap really easily but next up i would like to recommend their brush set this brush set is 44 dollars, and you get 14 different brushes in a brush roll as well so really really great deal this one specifically is from the 2000 and 19 set so they came out with one last year but that one is not on the site anymore so the one they have on their site right now is the first set they came out with it comes in sort of a light pink packaging with the rose gold metal and then the one last year was in more of like a cooler tone silver hardware packaging which i do love and i didn't know they discontinued it because i love brushes from both sets and when i was planning for this video i was going to recommend both but when i was double checking on what's on the site that brush set is no longer available they only have this one from 2019 and i actually thought they were going to come out with another brush set this year because they always come out with this around this time of the year they pair it with a mega palette so in 2019 they came out with this brush set with bare necessities and then last year around this time like black friday they came out with this brush set with this handle and the stone cold fox so i was thinking they were going to do the same this year but i think maybe they just skipped over that which is a shame because i think their brushes are really really good and i feel like they don't get talked about enough so this one came out in 2019 so i've had these for two years i've been using them consistently and they still look brand new no string like the quality on these are really really good and I really like the shape on a lot of their brushes I would highly recommend it I think it's a really great deal for the price you're paying you also get a brush roll as well and if anything I wish Colourpop would just release these as single brushes because there are certain brushes in here that I would love to have more than one of but because it only comes in a set, it doesn't make any sense to buy another one, you know? But I really, 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 really do enjoy these brushes. They don't get talked about enough. I think they are really, really good. So, would recommend. And next, let's move into the base. So, I want to recommend their Pretty Fresh line because I pretty much love everything from this line. I love the primer. I love the tinted moisturizer. And I also love the setting spray. The concealer is nice as well, but I just have a holy grail concealer that cannot be replaced so I would definitely recommend the primer which I did run out of and I do miss and I'm thinking of repurchasing and then the setting spray which I did also finish as well when you finish a product it means you really love it so I finished those both but I'm thinking about repurchasing them soon it's just I do have some other primers and setting sprays I'm going through right now that I just want to get through before I purchase more because I don't want my collection to get too too out of control but what I do have on hand is their tinted moisturizer and as you can see mine I don't have much left I absolutely love how this looks on my skin it is what I'm wearing on my face today obviously I do have concealer on I have powder on that do help with the finished complexion but as for the base of my makeup it is this and whenever I'm going out or whenever I just want my skin to look good and not too cakey I will always go for this because it gives you very light coverage but once you go on to conceal and everything the overall look the overall finish it looks really really good I really really enjoy this and I wear mine in the shade medium 9w and I would also like to recommend their frickle pen I know this is really really random but recently I have been breaking out a little bit so I have been creating my little pimple lumps into beauty marks which is a hack that I learned from Desi which I'm sure has been a hack for so long I just been liking to add in like beauty spots 
spots like I added two here I have two pimples that are right next to each other and then I actually have a beauty spot here that's very light and once I put my foundation on it kind of covers it up but I kind of like just to reinforce it a little bit which you know might like sound a little odd because we put on like full coverage foundation and then we add back on the beauty spots but I have some ones here naturally which honestly like I did not have when I was a kid. I just got these suddenly and my mom would always say it's like a fly pooped on your face. That's why you have these all of a sudden. Asians and their superstitions, am I right? But I have been really loving this. I'm not gonna say it's like the best freckle pen because it is a little thick and if you were to apply it like freckles, they look very, very fake. Like, well, for me, maybe it's just the way I use it. I'm not really good at creating fake freckles because I can't be so sporadic. I'm very like symmetrical and like I make it it doesn't look natural when I do it so I ma mainly use this just to recreate my beauty spots but I don't think it's like a must-have because you could just go in with eyeshadow and do it like it's not a big deal but it's what I've been using a lot recently and I've been really enjoying it for that reason they have two shades but I use dark brown I also actually just got this in the mail I got the Frick freckle pen thing and I didn't know it was this tiny, but I got this. Um, so that's probably a better option if you want to get fake freckles because this one's a little thick like the felt pen. It's not pointy at all. Um, but yeah, I've been using this to create my fake beauty spots. I mean, some of them are fake. Some of them are real. Now let's move into cheeks. I have a press blush that I have been absolutely loving. It is what I'm currently wearing on my cheeks right now. This is 10 US dollars and it comes in the most cutest packaging, this little heart shape. It has a soft velvet finish to it as well. This is in the shade Kiss and Tell. They do have um, two other shades, which I do have. I just haven't used yet. Um, but this is just absolutely stunning. This color has been my favorite blush to wear and I love ColourPop's Press formula. I just don't know why they don't come out with them more often. They always come out with like more cream products, but I want them to come out with more press blushes, press highlighters, like especially press highlighters and press bronzers. Like we need some bronzers from ColourPop, seriously. But this is such a beautiful color. It comes in the most adorable packaging. I cannot recommend this enough. And for $10, like it is so incredibly worth it. And the two other shades are really pretty as well. One's more like pinky, one is a red. Beautiful, beautiful. I love these little dudes so much. And then of course, I have to recommend these Super Shock blushes and highlighters. So these two, I've also been recommending for a very long time as well. These two are my favorite shades. These two are the ones I keep in my vanity at my top drawer. So I always have them on hand. So the blush is called a Grow Flirt. And honestly, mine is probably a little dried out. I probably could get a new one, but it's still going strong. I still can get pigment out of it. It might look a little overpowering, but if you just take it on a sponge and dab it out it is very very beautiful it's very youthful looking it's very fresh it is just a perfect like spring blush and then my favorite super shock highlighter would have to be lunch money it is a highlighter i'm currently wearing right now the super shock highlighters what i love about them is that you can make them more natural looking but you can also amp it up and get that very high shine metallicness but it is such a beautiful formulation and it's so easy to work as well and the finish it doesn't look like you are wearing highlighter it doesn't cling onto your skin it just like gracefully sits on top of your skin. It looks really, really amazing. But now onto the final category of lips. I have two lip formulas that I would like to recommend. This year, ColourPop did come out with a lot of new lip formulas, but these two are my tried and true. I can't get rid of them, honestly. These will always be a favorite of mine. So the first one, of course, the ultimate just a tint lip crayon in rise and shine i'm currently going through this in my project pen i'm like digging inside the packaging to get product out absolutely love rise and shine the color is beautiful the formulation is very comfortable very hydrating it is pretty much like a tinted lip balm but you can wear it with like full glam because the pigment is quite strong as well like you definitely can build it up so comfortable on the lips like it's just the perfect everyday lip color to wear and the last formulation that i would highly highly recommend is the Lux Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So the shade that I stand for and love and the shade that I'm currently wearing isn't this just a beautiful rosy color that just brings life back to my face. This one is called Air Kiss. There is no writing on this because I've worn this so much. Whenever I go out, which is not 
often these days at all but let's say I know I'm gonna meet a friend and maybe we're gonna take like a photo together I will wear ear curves because ear curves makes my lips look brighter because my lips naturally are very dull and very cool tone very purple that make me look very unwell you know but ear curves is like bright enough where it'll show up in photos or show up in video and it'll make it look very bright it just brightens up my complexion so ear curves I mean they have a lot of lot of beautiful shades there are a lot of shades that I do love but ear curves is like my absolute favorite and actually recently in their lucky penny collection they came out with a couple of shades and this shade here called tried and true i have been loving as well all right you guys so those were all of my must-have products from ColourPop in 2021 honestly it didn't feel like i recommended too many products because i felt like in the beginning i was just talking about all of my favorite nine pan palettes but if we just talk about it in each category there wasn't too many but i would say that these are my tried and true these are the products that I use the most often. They are always in my makeup routine. Like every time I do my makeup, I'm pretty sure at least one of these products I have on my face that day. I love everything here. I can highly, highly recommend them. I've been recommending them for many years now. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and help you guide through in your shopping experience on ColourPop. Again, I'll leave any other related guide videos in my description as well because I know it can be very, very overwhelming. Even for me, when I go on the ColourPop side, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like so many new things. But um, to make this video even longer, I thought I would share some products that I want to purchase during this sale. I'm not sure what the sale is going to be, but I probably will make an order because there are a couple of things that I wanted to pick up. So hopefully you guys might want to pick up some of these things as well. So first up, I want to pick up their new eye primer. This is the first time ColourPop has came out with an eye primer, so I'm really intrigued. I want to see how it is. Um, so that I would definitely pick up. And then I also want to pick up one of their quads, but it's the all matte quads. And right now, as I'm filming, I saw last night they were having a sale on on the whole collection of that. So I'm not sure if I'll pick up the whole collection and do a review or if I'll just pick up the one that I have my eyes on or pick up like two, but I definitely want to get that. And I also want to get one of their cheek quads as well because I haven't tried that. And like I said in the video, I wish ColourPop would have more pressed blushes and pressed highlighters. And I completely forgot they came out with these quads. So I definitely want to pick up one of them. And then from a fourth ray beauty, I want to get their chill factor. Like it's a face roll because in the morning my face can be very puffy I don't know my face has gained a lot of weight recently so I just want to try that tool out and then from soul body I want to pick up their body wash I actually have tried this and I really liked it I like the scent it lasted me a long time and I saw that it was $15 so if I can get a sale on it I mean a body wash is a body wash you're gonna go through it eventually right so yeah I definitely want to like kind of stock up on this and then I also want to get this press glitter in crystal cave this came out in one of their recent collections i forgot what it was called they came out with these little press glitters in their own individual compacts that i thought were really nice and this crystal cave one looks very very pretty and i've been obsessed with press glitters recently so um yeah those are what's on my list right now maybe i will add some extra things later on who knows but Hopefully that gives you an insight of what's in my cart. It's just like a lot of random little things. But yeah, that does conclude today's video, guys. If you did enjoy watching and you found it helpful, if you could, give the video a thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate it so much. Let me know what you guys are going to pick up this time around from ColourPop or if you are going to or if you're not. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.